This is a sketchbook tour video because I finally finished the sketchbook. If this is the first time you're seeing me, hi, I'm Elsa and I'm an illustrator from Portugal. I work mainly for uh, children's books and I'd never finished a sketchbook before until now. I finished one. Um, in the last video I posted on this channel, I was documenting one week of drawing daily in my sketchbook because I'd never done that. And in that video, I shared how I felt like a fraud because I've been calling myself an illustrator for years and I was never able to finish a sketchbook, to keep a sketchbook practice and finish a sketchbook. Until now, I finished one and it only took me a year and a half to finish this. So, yeah. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what's inside here. So let's do that. So this is my sketchbook. This is a Royal Talents art creation sketchbook. And I got this uh, long uh, horizontal version because I thought it would be fun to use. Uh, but I soon realized it wasn't really meant for me. I didn't really, I don't think I used it to its full potential, but I was too committed by then. About the, the stickers, these two uh, were made by me. Uh, last Halloween and this one is by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman and this this one the big one is actually a funny story I think uh, it's from Mirdinara don't know how you say that uh, but uh, at the children's book fair in 2022 I was at a workshop and uh, she just happened to be sitting by my side I didn't even realize it was her uh, and when I did, I think I fangirled a little bit too much, too hard, because I really, I really um, admired her work. And then she gave me one of her stickers, so that's why that's here. Let me let me start by saying that this is not going to be a beautiful sketchbook. Okay, I don't even have a beautiful starting spread because I didn't really need the the added pressure of that. I just have here um, a post-it with uh, my starting date and the end date. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I started this sketchbook um, doing a challenge, challenging myself to draw every day for a week. This was the first day, the prompt word was C. If you want to see more about that, there's a, a whole video about it. The prompt word here was plant. I was really trying to use different uh, mediums that I don't really use. Um, this was done with gouache because I really like the texture of gouache, but I never really used it. I think, I think I'm too scared of it, uh, but I really like it. I hate this. Then when I finished that, I did really use this sketchbook for a long time. And the next time I used it was to do this, um, post where I shared the goals I had for 2022 and if I had achieved them. So this is what we have here now. Uh, one of my goals for 2022 was to work in surface design and have my, my illustrations in a bunch of products. And in reality, I just spent too much time. Um, I had a, a small child and I didn't really have time to focus on anything more than what I already had. Uh, on my plate, so didn't do any of that. Uh, another goal was to find an agent, and again, I was just too tired and too too overworked to try and do that. Uh, so that didn't happen. It did, however, happen the next year in 2023. I started working with my agent. Uh, I also wanted to be more consistent and create more content for social media. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. Oh well. On a brighter note, uh, I wanted to create a podcast. I wanted to create one for a long time. And I finally did that uh, with another illustrator friend. We had a podcast about illustration in Portuguese. So I was really happy that I was able to do that. And another goal I had was to diversify my income streams because 
As you know, if you're a freelancer, it's really not ideal to just be relying on one income stream, which I've been doing. Um, I've just been re um, relying on my book um, work and I wanted to diversify that with surface design or and even other streams and didn't do any of that. Other things that happened, my baby started school. I started doing some ceramics class. I got into the, the studio where we're at right now, uh, which was really nice. And in terms of work, I in that year, I worked on t in 10 book projects. I, in one, my, we, in one magazine, four book tests. So I was really, really tired by the end of that year. Um, I quite like this. I made, uh, this is my take on this cover of this beautiful book I have. It's by Ruth Krause and it's illustrated by one of my favorite illustrators of all time, Mary Blair. And this is my take on the, on the cover and I really liked working on this. Next. Uh, I started, in, uh, by the time I was using this sketchbook, I tried to start exploring uh, my feelings through my work. I also started therapy by the same time and um, it was really helpful for, for myself to, to do that, to try and express myself through my work, which I haven't done in a, in a very long time before that. Uh, this was just me trying to draw what I was seeing, drawing from life, and it went terribly, and I haven't done it again. I probably should. This is just a cute uh, drawing of my kid when she turned two. Next. You'll see a lot of kids' drawings in this, uh, in this sketchbook because uh, I usually... Um, I, I draw a lot of uh, animals and I really wanted to try and start um, diversifying that as well, trying to draw more people. So in this sketchbook, you'll see uh, a lot of characters, a lot of children uh, drawn. Not here. Here we have a bunch of animals again. Uh, these uh, I asked on his Instagram for people to tell me things to draw. And so I'm drawing, I drew... Um, a polar bear, uh, my next um, ceramic ceramics piece, uh, my dog, a dog, I think it was, and uh, some kids with costumes. Here again, I'm not sure if you can really see these these pink sketches, but I was just again trying to express my feelings. Oh, I, I like this this spread. Uh, it was fun to make. I'm really really terrible at, at drawing words. So I was trying to do that, experiment with that. I just uh, typed um, on Pinterest birds, photographs, I think, and I got a bunch of beautiful words and I tried to draw them using my neo colors. Uh, so that was quite fun to make. I really like, I really like the result, it's fun. This was just me trying to draw a character. Uh, I think I'll go back to I'll go back to that to this in a second. It's something I, uh, an idea I really liked. Oh, here it is. Uh, so this I like it. I know it's not a big deal, but I really like this because uh, this part actually is part of a drawing my kid did um, by this time, as you can see. She, I think you can clearly see where she gets her talent from. Um, and I incorporated her drawing into my drawing and I really like I really like the result and I really like having it here. Um, I, I like this this one, this page because I just drew a bunch of uh, random for, um, shapes. Uh, in this page and I then tried drawing some characters with it and I it was fun to make and I quite like the the result of it it looks good hmm. Hmm. oh uh, here I think it's the the only time I 
really used how long the um, this sketchbook is to draw to draw this uh, this dog, um, and I used my neo colors because I was trying. I had to use them. I was trying to justify having purchased them, and then I I had a, a small pack, and then I bought an even bigger one, this one, uh, and I had to justify my that purchase for myself. So I tried using them, and I really like how they look. I I just don't know how to incorporate them in my work because I I like a lot of details, and it stresses me out that I can't do details with with the new colors. Here is me trying to use them again. Uh, I quite like these two, these two cats. This was fun to make as well. And again, <laughs> with the new colors. Uh, I also quite like doing this um, because I'm, I work digitally, mainly digitally, so it's really, it was fun to, for me to try and use different mediums together. This was made with um, with a marker and then I used the neo colors for the for the hair and the, the scarf. And I quite like, I, I, even, I quite like her expression. I think it's me. I like this spread as well. Uh, I think this was done with, um, I was inspired by Beth Spencer. So I just uh, made a bunch of random um, marks on the page with um, watercolors. And then I tried drawing dogs on top of it. <laughs> the results aren't great, uh, but I, I think it's really fun and I, I like how it looks. I think this is from um, a draw this in your style. I'm not sure. I really should be writing it because I forget, but oh well. This, I, I really like doing this because by this time I was really getting into um, colored pencils. And this was made with colored pencils and I really like the result. I, I really like how she looks. Some more, some more kids. And this, this was, uh, these are the sketches for uh, my kid and my dog making a mess in the kitchen. And I then eventually used this as a, a postcard. Some more kids. These are just some random doodles. And this, I, I like this because I remember I was really anxious because I I'd bought an online these colored pencils and I was just patiently waiting for my new pencils to arrive. I really like this. And then my, oops, my colored pencils arrive. These ones, my Prisma colors, which I love very much. And then I think I did something with them. Yeah. This was the first time of me trying to use them. And I really liked the result of it. I like I love how bright and how vibrant the the colors are, and here is just a bunch of random doodles again and Louie because I really like Louie more than my kid I think. And then I think by this time I was really starting to get tired of this sketchbook. Uh, I like this. Forgot that I had this here. I like it. Here, I think it's just uh, some drawings of things I had in my uh, on my desk. And some more kids. Okay. I can't really explain this. Just a bunch of carrot to, car carrots with different colors using the new colors because I had to justify the purchase for myself. Yeah, here I was completely tired of this sketchbook. I was just trying to get it over with. You see, the pages are no longer full. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, everything, yeah. I was tired of this. A bunch more kids. Again, with the colored pencils. I really, I, I love this blue, it's beautiful. 
Yeah, hit that. This was my kid helping me finish this, this sketchbook. This is her work. This is mine, but it's not really better than hers, to be honest. Uh, this was made for a uh, World Book Day. And it's about this, uh, the, an illustration of the, a girl reading this book, Worrisaurus, uh, which is a book I love. It's by Rachel Bright and Chris Chatterton. And I really love her their work together and separately. I love them both. Um, and I really like Worrisaurus. I like all of the collection they have together with... Um, with the dinosaurs, but I especially love Worrisaurus. So that's what we have here. Some more doodles to finish the sketchbook. Hmm. I don't know what the, I think, yeah, this is probably another draw this in your style. Uh, this is me trying to draw Bluey. And this is how my kid used to say Bluey. She used to say Bluey. And now she can say perfectly because she's all grown up. Some more kids. This is like the only time I used um, gouache in this book again. After the, like the first time you saw back then. Because again, I'm scared of it. I don't know why, but I am. Just some sketches of when my kids started school. And these were some experiments for... Uh, to announce that I was represented by my agent. That was a very exciting time. Some more work from my kid. Uh, some, some penguins that I really like. I really like drawing penguins. Uh, this one, we're uh, by the end of the book. Yeah, uh, this uh, I... By this time, I was I moved to another place in the country where there are a lot of cows, and I had never realized how many um, how many flies there are around cows. I I draw a lot of cows for my work, and I'd never thought of that, and so I wanted to do something with that information. This is the la the last page. I didn't have on a, a good note, it's just some, this ugly sketch of a mom who does everything for the kids, as motherhood is. Uh, and yeah, this is the final, uh, this is the end of sketchbook. This is it. I finished the sketchbook. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked seeing what I have in my sketchbook. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing. Do people still ask for this? I haven't done videos in a very long time. And it shows. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you soon, I hope. Bye.